Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an empties video for you. I should have done this a little while ago because I have quite the pile of garbage and recycling to go through. So without further ado, let's see what I will be chucking into my recycling and garbage in like 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be absolutely no order to this video whatsoever, so just get a snack and just, you know, be in it for the adventure. Um, the first thing, I have two of these. Um, it's the Downy Wrinkle Releaser, and I know this isn't really, really beauty related whatsoever, but I absolutely freaking love this stuff. Um, I used to only be able to get it in the States, and now I found out that I can get it in Canada, so that's really exciting. Basically, you spray it on your clothes, and you tug, and it gets rid of all the wrinkles. Yes, you heard me. A spray, iron, basically. I hate ironing, I hate steaming, I hate all of that. This is much easier, and I also usually have it in my desk at work, so then that way if something kind of gets wrinkled throughout the day, I can do that. So yeah, I got through two bottles of these. You can tell I really don't like to iron by this. Okay, so next up is the Chocomania Sugar Body Scrub from the Body Shop. This one smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. It, there's actually a warning of don't eat it, I'm pretty sure. on the. Yeah, there's a there's a little sticker here. This one, it's like, no no food or drink. Don't eat it because it smells that good. Um, it just wasn't scrubby enough for me. It just wasn't abrasive enough. It didn't, I felt like it didn't ab like get off all of my dead skin as much as I wanted it to. So that's a little disappointing, but it did smell really good. So I guess that's a plus. Um, I finished up a Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner in Universal Dark. I use this every single day without fail. Um, I will never use any other brow pencil until the end of time or until they stop making these. I have two sets of makeup removing wipes, one that I actually really liked, one that I did not. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleansing Towelettes. This is for normal to oily skin. I don't see a difference. I have dry skin. I totally use these. I didn't care. Um, these are actually really good. Smell really good as well. Um, you get 30 in a pack. I just use baby wipes so most of the time. So I, both of these were actually PR samples. I just, I can't go out and spend the money because baby wipes do the exact same thing and are a lot cheaper. Um, the other ones are the Anew Clean Facial Cleansing Wipes from Avon. There's 24 in a pack. My lights are like really bleaching that out, but I have a blog post about this line of skincare, so I will link that down below. Um, they stung my eyes. I didn't like that. Um, my skin felt weird after using them. I just wasn't a fan. Um, yeah, no, I just wasn't a fan. There's other products in the lines that I kind of did like, but just not for my skin. I have four mascaras. This is silly. Um, you can see why I need to do an empties video. Uh, first up, one that I absolutely love is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Um, this is fantastic. Volume, length, waterproofness, wonderfulness. I love it. I love the way that it makes my bottom lashes look especially. It's just really good. You do get a lot of product on the brush, so I did have to, for the first couple of days, I had to wipe it off with a Kleenex so that it just wasn't too much. But then by the time you start going through the product, that doesn't happen anymore. Um, but yeah, it's so good. I already bought another one, actually, today. I bought a, a new one um, online, so that'll get to me in a few days. Next one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Waterproof. It's one of those, like, two-steps ones. No, no. I don't know, it just, I always get creeped out by these, I don't, then it gets dirty and you're thinking, it. I don't know, it's just not good, plus then your black mascara just isn't as black, and that's what I want in a mascara, is a super black one. I did kind of like the brush of this one, you can see that, it's kind of like curved a slight bit. I did like that, but I just didn't really like the way that it made my lashes look. It just wasn't bold enough for my liking. Um, next one is Essence Eye Heart Extreme Volume Mascara Waterproof. Um, nothing to write home about. I actually almost forget what it's like. I know that it is like a bristle brush. It is very large. Like, look at that. I don't like large brushes like this because I tend to get mascara on my upper eyelid. Um at the best of times, so with a large like brush like this, it's just too much. It just kind of gets all over the place. Um, the last mascara, I think, there could be some more hidden in this bag though, um, is from Avon. It's the Big and Multiplied Volume Mascara. Now, in the information that I read, it sounded like it was waterproof. It basically made it sound like it was waterproof, if not saying it was waterproof in the thing. 
That is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. Um, it's in black as black. I had no problems with the color of this. I actually kind of liked the the brush of it. It was actually really nice. Like look at how it like it's like a conical type of and it's the plastic bristles. I actually really like the brush. I really liked how my lashes looked when I applied it. I did not like how my lashes looked 15 minutes later when they drooped because it's not waterproof. So um, if you don't like waterproof mascara and you just use regular one, actually give this a try. I actually didn't really mind it. It did fan out my lashes really nicely, but it just didn't hold the curl. And that is my number one thing that I look for in a mascara is to hold my curl. So yeah, not waterproof, but decent. Actually pretty good mascara for the 10 minutes that it lasted on my lashes. Um, let's see here. I have the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. I love this stuff. I love the scent of Dove. It's nice and creamy. This is like more of like a winter body wash for me because it definitely conditions the skin and makes it nice and hydrated and nourished. Um, so yeah, definitely nothing wrong with Dove body washes whatsoever. Another Dove product is the Dove Glow Sleeveless Deodorant. I actually really liked this. Um, very hydrating for the underarms, but doesn't like doesn't like make you sweaty, and it stops the sweat. Really good. I really like the scent as well. Um, usually Dove does it right in my books. Okay, so next up is the Clean and Clear Invisible Blemish Treatment Salicylic Acid. It's a clear one, and it has two percent salicylic acid. If I have a zit. This is the only thing that will work for me, and I actually really think it's funny because I've used it since high school. Um, but yeah, it's just really good. Really, really, really good. Primer sample from Laura Mercier. It's just the foundation primer. I don't know. It didn't didn't make my mask like my makeup last all that much longer. It felt nice. It was nourishing to the skin, but it wasn't. It didn't. I didn't see a difference in how long my makeup lasted when I used this and when I didn't. Ooh, holy grail right here. Um, this is the Neostrata Glycolic Renewal Smoothing Cream with 10% glycolic acid. This is one of my favorite skincare products. I've actually haven't purchased a new one though since finishing this one. It's just because I've been trying to get through other skincare. Um, and I just kind of wanted to see what my skin would do without it. Um, I need it back. Basically, I need it back in my life. I love this stuff. It definitely helps. It's a chemical exfoliant, so it's going to slough off um, any dead skin cells. And just as a note aside from this empties video, because this is a glycolic acid, I am starting a new series on this channel, and I'm very excited. It will take a little bit of time, though. But it's basically going to be the science of beauty. Um, I do have a PhD in pharmacology, so I do have a science background. And I thought, why not start talking about the things that are in your products? So I know that the first video that I'm going to do is on glycolic acid, where I'm going to break down how it works, and then the products that I've tried that I really enjoy that have that um, ingredient in it. So let me know if you like the idea of that series, um, and if you have any other suggestions for molecules of the month. I think I'm going to do it once a month, because it is a lot of research that I have to do. But yeah, sorry about the aside, but I... Remember, because glycolic acid will be the first video that I do, and watch out for that probably near the end of September, if not the beginning of October. It just depends on my timing and like how much time I have to work on it. Another skincare product is also it's from Avon. There's still some left, but I just couldn't get it out. I guess I could like scoop it. Yeah, no, that's too much work. Um, but I actually really, really, really enjoyed this. It's the Avon Anew Skin Vincible Day Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Oh my god, I think I featured this in a favorites at one point. This is so good. Such a good daytime lotion. It has SPF 50 in it, so you don't have to worry about putting on sunscreen as well. Didn't break out my skin, hydrated my skin, um, my skin, like, texture didn't go crazy. It's just is really good. It's just super, super good. I'm super impressed with it. And there are five different SPF ingredients in it. This one, woo, so, 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 so good. Uh, more skincare, obviously more skincare than beauty or makeup for any of this. Um, it's just a little tiny uh, Bioderma Sensibio H2O. It's a micellar solution for sensitive skin. I really like this stuff. Um, I just haven't bought any new Bioderm in a while. Um, I don't use it to take off my like makeup or my eye makeup, things like that, that a lot of people do. I rather use it after I kind of like wipe off with a baby wipe, then I might use the micellar water, or if I cleanse, then I use this. That's kind of how I do it. Um, I try, I don't actually really use it to 
be the sole product that's removing my makeup, but rather the second step to make sure everything is off of my skin. Okay, so next up I have two of the same thing, basically. Um, it's Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo. I have the Big and Bouncy XXL Volume 1 here, and I have the original Clean and Classic one. I actually really prefer this one over this one. I found that this one kind of made my hair feel dirty-ish, like too gritty. Um, obviously it's because this is providing volume as well, so it needs something to kind of like beef up the hair follicles. This one, perfect. I miss it already, and I just finished it today. Some more hair care. Um, it is the Schwarzkopf Essence Ultime Diamond Color and Radiance Conditioner and Shampoo. Uh, this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. Um, these are the best shampoo and conditioners that I've used in a really long time. I love the scent. I love the way that they make my hair feel. The shampoo works really well. I don't need to double wash. And this stuff is just awesome as well. It's just nice and thick of a conditioner. It doesn't like rinse out of your hair too early or like you know, it's not runny by any chance. And this is for colored or highlighted hair. So if you have colored or highlighter hair, I would uh, check these out at some point because they're really good. Really, really, really good. Good job. Oh god, I found another mascara. Um, it's the CoverGirl, the Supersizer Waterproof Mascara. No surprise there. Um, I'm trying to remember what this was like. Um, I liked it. The brush is really strange on this one. Um, there's like barely any bristles, but I actually do remember liking this one pretty well. It does good length from what I remember. Not so much volume, but good length. So good for that. I don't know if I would buy it again, but I was okay with the results that I I achieved. It's slowly all coming back to me now. Um, I've been trying to use masks more just because I have a stockpile at home and that's just silly for them just to be sitting there. Um, so one of them is the Garnier Skin Renew Dark Spot Treatment Mask. This is a tissue mask. You leave it on for 10 minutes. I hate sheet masks. I've figured that out in the last like week. I hate them. I hate the way that they look on my skin. I hate that I have to like stay like this the whole time. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of sh sheet masks, so I'm trying to like get through them just because I do like it. I like the products on the sheet mask, and I wish I could just apply that as a mask itself and then rinse off or like tissue off, but I just don't like sheet masks. I said it. I said it. I feel like cleansed now because everyone loves sheet masks. I can't stand them. Let's see here. Um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Holy Grail, I have to use it every single day. It keeps everything in place and it keeps my um, brow pencil from last for a la lot. Like, it makes it last for the entire day. Uh, two little tiny samples. This is the Lise Watier um, Serum. It's an instant lifting day serum and firming night serum. They're good. I don't know. It's too small to really know if, like, it did anything to your, to your skin, really, but they soaked in like they absorbed really quickly into the skin and they didn't break me out and I didn't see my skin like getting dried out at all so I guess win for like a travel sample because it didn't do any harm to my skin. Now this next one it has a little bit left but it's just a pain to get out. Um, I have another one anyways so I figured eh, just toss it. Um, it's the Revlon Treat and Boost. Now everyone always asks me because my nails are so long and they are my own nails like these are not fake these are mine. I grow them myself. Um, what do I use as a base coat because their nails just aren't strong enough? I use this. I use this. I have a Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I just finished this one like last week. Um, if you have dry skin and you still want to use a setting spray, use this one because it's hydrating and it is cooling. Um, it's oil-free, paraben-free, and apparently there's temperature control technology. I don't know about that, but um, it makes my makeup last all day. Um, but it doesn't dry out my skin and suck the life out of it. So, win-win. We are getting down to the bottom of that bag. Um, Tresemme Tray 2 Extra Hold Hairspray. This is the only hairspray that I use now. Um, it's just really good. It doesn't make my hair too crunchy. It can if I put too much in, but it holds my hair very well throughout the day. The odd time in humidity, it won't, but I don't think anything will at that point. Um, but yeah, this is really good, and it's affordable at the drugstore. So yeah, don't spend all your money on hairspray at the salon. Just get this one. Um, I finished up a Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2 for dry combination skin. This is the toner I use. I use this all the time and if I stop using it, say, for a few days just because I'm lazy or I'm trying something out, 
I can tell. My skin, absolutely, I can tell. I told you that I was trying to do more masks recently. It's because I need to get through these. Um, but yeah, two of them. This one is the Skin Republic Stem Cell Plant Protein Face Mask Sheet. Um, this one was all right. I found the sheet mask itself. It was very awkwardly. The holes were placed. And I looked like a serial killer or something. I don't know. You always look like a serial killer with this. This one promised it... Promise to regenerate and revitalize skin, lift and tone skin, and improve skin elasticity. I don't know about that. I don't know. I really did like, if this like could be in a serum, I think I would really like it because it was super hydrating. But as a sheet mask, no, because I hate sheet masks. That's what we've learned today. Caitlin hates sheet masks. And then the other one is from the face shop. Um, I don't mind their sheet masks as much. Like I still don't like them, but I find that they kind of fit a little bit better um, there's still a little bit like the sliminess kind of gets me. This one is the blueberry one. And this one is, contains blueberry extract with softening properties for younger looking skin. It's very vague. Um, moisturizing and nourishing. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Like, again, I would rather just like take all of the serum that's on the mask, squeeze it all out, and then like create a mask on my face and then like tissue it off. I think that would just be a lot better instead of having to deal with this tissue mask thing. Ugh. Guess what? Last product. Oh my god, so exciting. Um, so this, my beloved H&M uh, All Day Liquid Foundation. I went through one of these babies and I'm... Oh, I have the other one somewhere. I've already gone through this much of the other one. Like, what? I go through this stuff so quickly. It's not, actually not even that quickly. It's probably about two months or so. I use this almost every single day. Um, I should really start using my other foundations, but this one is just ride or die. It's just a really good foundation. If you have an H&M Beauty near you, you do need to try this out. It works for my dry skin. It works for, for oily skin. It will work for normal skin by, I don't know, logic, I guess. Um... But yeah, it's just really good, and the shades, the shade selection is fantastic. I am usually the lightest of any shade in a range. I'm like the third or fourth lightest. So there's like an alabaster, like almost white, like ghost-like. And then there's like deep, deep, like chocolate, like rich, deep shades, which I, I just really like that there's such a wide selection because the people at the ends always get screwed over, and I think with this one you don't. So yeah. Really great. My first one's done though. Okay, we just went through my garbage and recycling. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I will be tossing in the next little bit. Um, if you've done any recent empty posts on your blog or YouTube, please leave them down below. Um, I really like these posts because it's this is the only way that you know if you like or don't like a product is if you've used it all up. Make sure to find me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you next time. Bye!